Hello Bobcats, I hope you are enjoying your online learning from home. Uh, several of you um, have been chatting with your teachers, you've been uh, phone calls, emailing, texting your teachers, and I'm very, very glad to see all of these things happening. A big shout out to all of our teachers because they are working so hard uh, from home. And sometimes we think this is probably easier but I'm here to tell you that this is more of a challenge than what we think. But you know what, Bobcats? We are Bobcats and we're doing it and we're doing it an amazing, an amazing job. So I'm so happy um, to be able to share today's read aloud because it's about a koala. And koalas come from what country? If you said Australia, you are correct. So it's about a person, uh, this is about a koala, not a person, it's about an animal who refuses change. Um, and just like many of us, we are in a, in a period of change. We're doing things that we possibly haven't done before, but uh, sometimes it's not necessarily a bad thing. So The Koala That Could by Rachel Bright. In a wonderful place, where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. In a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala called Kevin clung to a tree. A nicer gray fellow you never would meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch on a leaf bun. And after all this, well, he'd need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope. Kevin preferred not to move or to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew what to do and he was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shout it one day. Hey, Kevin! Why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think, he replied, uh, I should stay on my plant. Uh, I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? cried the ruse with a super loud cheer. Yes, why? called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who'd never been one to act fast, said, uh, I, I've, I've got clinging to do, but it's nice that you asked. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join them down there. Look at that, boys and girls. Look at the fun that they're having. But he knew he'd miss home. It was so dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went, and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the whole world moved around, until he awoke to a worrying sound. Any predictions of what he heard? Tap, tap, the sound went. 
Well, this was a blow. Tap, 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 tapity, tap, tap, tap. Oh, no. Unclang, the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap, and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go? No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh dear, I just... Can't! Woof! Down came the tree and with it was bringing crash and a wallop and Kevin still clinging. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. The worst he could think of now had come to pass and he was just fine. Why, he felt quite first class. So when Wombat leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. When Dingo asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. because life can be great when you try something new. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book because I think this is so telling with, what we're, with what's happening in our life right now. Right now we are all asked to do things that we normally wouldn't do. Um, and sometimes it's a little bit scary because we want to just continue to do what we've always done because that's what what brings us comfort and what makes us happy but just like our koala Kevin I urge you I encourage you to try something new um, just do it put yourself out there and just do it so boys and girls i hope you you are doing well i hope you are staying safe at home and i hope hope that you are continuing to learn you are continuing to do your best you are staying active physically and mentally that's it for me today and i will see you all tomorrow bye